I don't think anybody's going to believe this. What we got here, if you look really close, even underneath, well, this is kind of grayish here, but what I made is white gunpowder. And I've never seen this before ever. You can look real close at it. If I can focus in, I don't know. But it's all, if you take and look at one of these, one of these crumbs, like right here, underneath it's still white. Like white gunpowder. Now over here, this hasn't dried completely like the other side, but it's pretty, you can see it's turning gray. It wasn't quite dry, so I'm kind of playing with that. But this all, this was a technique, and I don't know what it's going to be like when, you know, when it's used, but if you look at this, it's, it's uniform throughout the entire mix. It's like almost as if the carbon has disappeared. It's crazy. Never saw anything like this. Anyway, I just wanted to document this. I wish I could get really close and show you, but you know, you can see uh, the the. Well, hold on. The process was involved with freezing. You know, making a regular slurry of regular gunpowder, putting it outside, freezing it, bringing it in, drying it out, and here's what I got. It's almost like what happened is the freezing caused the crystals to be extremely tiny and they have covered every little crumb of the material the potassium nitrate has covered everything until it's totally like a, a total a very a very intimate mix of it so it's a very unusual thing white gunpowder have you ever heard of that okay well i'm done here